197 soldiers and 34 teams traveled to Fort Benning for the second annual All-Army Modern Combatives Tournament. The 29th Infantry Regiment played host to competitors representing Army installations worldwide. Competitors were broken down into one of six weight classes and placed into double elimination brackets. The elimination brackets were fought on day one using standard combatives competition rules, which are primarily grappling. Although the competition is gender neutral, the competitors must win their installation championships in order to compete in the All-Army. This year, only two females were able to win their post-level tournaments in order to make the trek to Fort Benning. Sheila Pereira is the 140-pound champion at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Uh, I love this. I love martial arts in general. I, I train at the Mixed Martial Arts Academy in Clarksville under John Rankin, and uh, all my teammates cheer me on to do this kind of thing. I think it's great. I want our team to, to do well out here today and uh, represent for the females, no doubt. The finals allowed for more advanced maneuvers such as fist striking, throws, takedowns, and chokes. Only the top four competitors in each weight class competed using these advanced rules. We're going to take a look at some of the featured highlights and joining me to talk about them is Matt Larson, director of the Army Combatives Program. The most highly anticipated fight of the tournament was between Tim Kennedy and Damian Stelly. And as we look at round one, we caught up with Damian Stelly just before the fight and he gave us his take on the Army Combatives Program. It's changed completely the way we think about not only you know hand-to-hand -hand fighting but also the way we we deal with closing with the enemy. I think I think uh, it's it's changed everything. I mean, these guys in the in, you know in the military, they just we, we just keep getting better and better each year because this program has like grown so much. So it's getting right up there with uh, other other uh, like sanctioning bodies and stuff that are on pay per view and everything. So it's, I mean, the guys are almost just as skilled as they are. So. We're going to take a peek into round two right now. Matt, these were two great fighters that were each all Army champions last year in their different weight classes. How is it they're fighting each other in this year's tournament for the light heavyweight championship? Well, both of these fighters spent a good portion of last year deployed to combat zones, Steli in Afghanistan and Kennedy in Iraq. The bottom line is that Steli thought Kennedy was one of the best fighters last year and wanted to cut his weight to face him. You can see it in both of these guys. The mark of a champion is that they would want to fight the best. I spoke with Kennedy after the fight and he gave me his take on fighting Steli and the All-Army Combatives Program. He was the heavyweight champion last year. I was a light heavyweight champion last year. Um, I knew he was cutting down, and uh, I, I knew it was going to be a great fight. The, the sport is evolving, and all of us as athletes are evolving. And um, I think it just, it, the fact that we were bracketed on opposite sides and both of us fought our way to be able to come to the championship together just uh, takes, you know, again, shows the type of athlete that Steli is and also the promotion or the, the, the event that Matt Larson put on. Um, you know, great in every regards, you know. It, Matt Larson did a great job, combative school, did a good job putting on the show, so I think that's, that just speaks for itself. This fight went three full rounds, and now it's up to the judges to decide. Let's go to the floor for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion at 205, by split decision, Staff Sergeant Tim If I was Steli and I was fighting me, that would have been the exact fight I would have fought. Um, you know, my plan was going to go in, uh, knock him out, and I, I never got any room to do that. Every time I started teeing off for striking, he shot that running double and pretty much stuffed my game plan. He had two takedowns, I had none. Um, in UFC scoring, that, that probably, probably would have gone to him. In pride, you know, that probably would have gone to me. So it's, it's, he's a gamer, he's tough, he's strong, he's powerful, he's explosive, he's a phenomenal athlete, he's a fantastic fighter, and he's an excellent soldier. So I, I wasn't surprised at how gifted he was as an athlete. 
Next up is the middleweight championship between Chris Gordon and Del Wooten. Chris Gordon is a paratrooper from the 173rd Airborne in Vicenza, Italy, and Del Wooten is a Navy SEAL who is an instructor at the JFK Special Warfare Center at Fort Bragg. Now Matt, what's a sailor doing in the All-Army Tournament? Well, the rules of the tournament make anyone assigned to an Army unit eligible to compete. Dale is also here because he's trying to show the Navy that this type of training is related to their mission as well. In fact, there were two sailors in this year's competition, both from the JFK Special Warfare Center. We're hoping to generate enough interest to host an All-Armed Forces Championship in the future. Matt, you just so happen to be the referee in this fight. Tell me what's happening at this point. As Chris spun around on the armbar, Dale lifted him up to try to shake him off his arm. At this point, he was bracing his arm with his other arm so he couldn't tap out. He was looking me dead in the eyes when he verbally submitted. The last featured fight is the open weight championship between Brandon Sales from the 3rd Infantry Division and Benjamin Bradley from Fort Gordon. This is a fight no one expected to happen. Allen is a Special Forces Reservist from Dallas, Texas and is also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under one of the Machado brothers. Everyone expected him to run away with the tournament, but Sales beat him in the second grappling bout, forcing Allen to vie for the third place medal. This fight was only the second fight to go the three full rounds, and this year's Open Heavyweight Champion is... Sergeant Brandon Zilla! Well, I'm grateful to be a part of the program. You know, uh, it does instill a lot of leadership and uh, uh, willingness to close the gap with the enemy if it, if it came to hand-to-hand. -hand. Like uh, Mr. Larson, you know, he preaches that a lot, and no one really realizes it unless they've been through his program. You know, a lot of people don't really understand it until they get there and they go through level one, and they uh, go through the clinch drill, which is a lot harder than everybody thinks. So uh, just uh, I hope the sport does grow and uh, the, the combatives program grows more and more throughout the Army. Hope more people realize that it's a very important part of uh, instilling warrior leadership in uh, our new soldiers, you know. The overall team winner is the JFK Special Warfare Center. Trophies and medals were presented by Fort Benning's Deputy Commander, Colonel Michael Lennington. Let's wrap it up with a look at the winners.